Yo, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Slope Podcast. You know what it is, we're going to be podcasting the Sakamichi series idol groups. It's going to be Nogi Zaka 46, Sakura Zaka 46, and Hinata Zaka 46, the season 5, episode 26. Uh, this week we've got a lot of new PVs coming out from Nogi Zaka 46, uh, including some individual PVs. And, uh, like Brad, um, we'll talk about it when we get there, I suppose. But before all of that, I'm one of your hosts. I'm Jimmy, aka Jim, who tweets. I'm joined as always by my friend and my fellow host, yo, Josh, Mr. Josh Box. You know, today it's all about positivity. You know, let's think about the positive things, you know? Like, uh, how great is it that we're here, Jimmy? You know, I feel like I haven't seen you in so long. Dude, I, I have trolled myself with our stupid, like, uh, Christian upbringing bit that we've been doing. I thought you were about to say, how great is our God, dude? <laughs> Sing with me, how great is our God? Uh, well, yeah, yeah, long time no see, Mr. Box. Yeah, very long time. It's almost like we didn't see each other less than 24 hours ago. Oh, no, it's more than 24 hours now. It's been more than, yeah, yeah. We we both got home just about 24 hours yeah. ago. Yeah. <laughs> um, even though, you know, I was on a plane, like, fifth, like, you know, uh, s- four hours earlier than you were. Uh-huh. Somehow we both got home around the same time. True. That's 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 neither here there. Where, wow. where, 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 where have you been, right. Mr. Box? Huh? Where have you been? Uh, well, I was in a little, a little state, you know, off on the side called uh, Texas. Oh, in Houston. How about you, Jimmy? Where were you? I was also in Houston. What a coincidence! What, oh, were, what well, were you doing out there? Oh, I was out there for uh, you know uh, a little. A little proposal ceremony thing, you know, from our, our boy Tron. Were you there? Like, were you invited? You know, I didn't see you there. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's you're you're talking about Michelle's dumb boy, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I was there. Oh, oh, you were there. Yeah, I, we... I mean, I, I I was there. You know, I was holding pastries. Yeah, I was holding Hennessy. <laughs> that's, that's, this is bit we're doing. <laughs> No, okay. So, uh, there's just just the thing. We we were in uh, Houston uh, for our our friend Tron. He, people who've been watching the show for a long time know um, mm-hmm. uh, his his engagement ceremony. Uh, they were his fiance or uh, yeah, his fiance is uh, Vietnamese. So we did like a traditional Vietnamese engagement party. It's called a dumb hoi, right? Where it's like the um, Basically, the the groom asking the family and friends for the the wife's hand in marriage, and you know we gotta, you know the groomsmen gotta bring all the the dowry, the gifts, you right? Like gotta show this man, he's got it like that, you know. Mm-hmm. And so, so you know, you gotta bring like the traditional like dessert. Gotta bring like the um the, the roasted pig, the alcohol. And so, uh, yeah, I, I, I've done it a few times before, but this is your first time, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, how was that experience? It was good. It, it was good seeing the traditional. But based on what Jimmy told me, this is a little different than usual. Right, Jimmy? Uh, Yeah, yeah. Well, it, you know, I mean, the essentially it's the same. Okay. It's just that, like, the main points are the same. <laughs> Yeah, it's just that, you know, obviously it, it, they Michelle's very or you know, Tron's fiance is very like wanted it a certain way, yeah. wanted it to look good for uh the camera and so, you know, the, there was like it was very like planned out, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Like we had like a whole rehearsal night uh which we were like <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, I still remember <laughs> okay, I, I still have PTSD, dude. I still wake up in a cold sweat, dude. Um <laughs> But uh, what is it? Yeah. Uh, so you know, it's very like planned out, right? Where Mm -hmm. whereas usually for me, it's like you know, you show up the day of the engagement thing, and they're like, "Uh, all right, uh, I guess you you carry the pig, you carry the this, you carry that. All right, cool, line up, line up, take it in." (laughs) Hmm. But uh, I still the best part for me was uh when we entered the house when we weren't supposed to. That was not our fault. That was not that was our not, fault. That was not our fault. No, no, I agree. That was not our fault. We were told yeah. to go inside when we 
saying we shouldn't go inside. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We we read the plan. We were like, no, we're supposed to stay outside. We're yeah. supposed to stay outside. No earlier than ten forty five are we allowed no. to to be at the house. We mm-hmm. stay outside. We get the signal when it's okay. Then we can go in. But then mm-hmm. someone was like, no, no, come in, come in, come in. And we're like, no, we can't, we can't. <laughs> and they're like, no, you're supposed to come in. So we're like, fuck, okay. And then as soon as we went into the door, just daggers shooting down at us from the sun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just, oh, no. Like, everyone, like, <laughs> did the same, same thing. I was like, yeah, everyone was like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, that was, uh, oof. that was a big oof. But there, everything off went off really yeah, well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the ceremony was great. It was very cute. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Um, we had to we had to do a little dance number. Mm. Josh finally listened to New Jeans, dude. <laughs> First time. Now I can even. <laughs> oh, look at him! He's super <laughs> fucking. <guy, dude. laughs> show him, show him, get him, get him, show him the dance, show him the dance, show him the dance. No, we all we altered it to modify so we could learn it in twenty minutes. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. But um, yeah, it was cute. It was uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, went out. We went out that night. Josh uh, Josh went ham bone. Huh? He went a little 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 nutty. Uh, Saturday night. A little nutty. Yeah, you partied. You were a party boy. I saw your Instagram. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I guess yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, me and RJ went uh. So first we went to a, to like a bar, and we were hanging out with everyone who who went to the to the event, and then uh, and then uh, for some reason we had to divide up. <laughs> the party got split, dude. And uh, so some people went to the back to the groomsman's house, and other people continued to the next bar, and then we went to the club afterwards. Like it, it got smaller and smaller, <laughs> and then by the end it was like five of us at the club. But yeah, we were there having a good time. Yeah, dude. Um, I always do that, Corp. <laughs> it's my downfall. Yeah, I just fuck up. I I, I just uh, say things that I'm not supposed to because I mess up. I hit the backspace button. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, Boy and I went back to the Airbnb and watched idle videos on, the, on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> dude I, okay here's the biggest difference between texas and california or san diego in my opinion oh I can yeah speak for all of california so normally uh, if i go to a bar you know it's like late at night right we got we i think we went we got to the bar like around 7 40 ish or something like that at some point at towards the end of the night you're you're just fucking drunk um chad is asking yes this is the night that i asked everyone to confess confess their love for me i was pretty fucking drunk at that point anyways so you know at some point late into the night i i'm like dude i need i need fresh air all right (laughs) and so in san diego you open the door you go outside and it's like the cool fresh night Mm -hmm, air mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. just kind of chill there for a second kind of take a deep breath in and and, and just collect yourself Mm -hmm. in houston you open the door and it's worse outside than it was inside. It's yeah. 109 <laughs> degrees out still. It's 1030 at night. It doesn't make any sense. Why is it that hot out? There's no sun. And it's like, yeah, the it's like still like whatever percent humidity, uh-huh. like just breathing in water. And so like <laughs> that feeling made me nauseous, dude. I was about to fucking just puke. Like, I just, really went wanted... outside and expected the cold, the cold beach yeah. front wind to hit you. But it's like just this nasty, mo- muggy... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So like, I I was feeling so nauseous until uh, we got into the Airbnb, right? The 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 Uber, the Uber back mm-hmm. to the Airbnb, right? Because then the AC is kicking in. I'm like, oh, okay, <sighs> <What about you? sighs> you know. And then like, cause yeah, I wasn't even. I, I think I wasn't even that tired. I think I was more just feeling nauseous. Mm-hmm. Cause then I couldn't even sleep. We got back. I just watched fucking idle shit on on YouTube with boy until boys like, All right, I'm gonna go shower and go to bed. I laid there, could not sleep until I heard Josh and RJ get home. And I was like, I'm going to go out and talk to my boys, dude. I want to know. I want to know what happened, dude. I want to know, you know, if uh, Joshua picked up any harlots while he was out, dude, you know? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, but it was, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Um, I have been craving breakfast tacos. Oh, those are good, today. right? Yeah, those are so good. I, I think... 
I think tomorrow I definitely have to go get like a breakfast burrito just to scratch that itch. It's not the <laughs> same. Scratching, no. It's surprisingly not the same, but it's yeah. It's got yeah, scratch the itch. The chorizo verde though was good. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, should have yeah. got one. Um Yeah, any 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 hard any uh Houston adventure you want to share before we um, We had barbecue like twice. And every time I was like it's interesting because every time I go to like a Texas barbecue place, it's always like oh, this one item stands out. And then like in the first place, it was like the brisket. Mm. And in second place for me, it was the pulled pork. Mm. Which is like, like it just hits different. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I love Texas. Well, I love the Texas barbecue. That was my first true Texas barbecue experience. I've mm -hmm. had Texas barbecue before, but never in Texas, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, I hesitate to call it that. But, God, it's so filling, dude. It's so oh, yeah. fucking filling. <laughs> so, literally, the first time we had Texas barbecue, after that, we went to Bucky's. Shout out Bucky's, my favorite Ooh. place on earth, TBH. <laughs> um, the bathroom's so I, clean. Know, couldn't get any food, dude. I was so full. All, all I was thinking about was like, dude, I'm so fucking full. Uh -huh. Then we went back to the Airbnb just to kind of like chill for a bit. And then plan dinner, apparently. Like, <laughs> like Michelle came through, Tron and Tron and Michelle trying to figure out where they want to take us for dinner. And in my head, I'm just like, oh my God, we're going to dinner still? Like <laughs> I'm but to so... be fair, it was like seven hours after we were still full. But I was so full still, dude. <laughs> I think I was still full from barbecue the next morning, dude. You know? <laughs> Before we had more barbecue. <laughs> yeah, then we had we had I, I had two breakfast tacos and then we ordered barbecue. I'm like, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jimmy was um... the first one to tap out that second barbecue day. <laughs> Dude, I was you, you look I was dying, bro. I was like so full. I was when like he stopped I, doing his British accent. That's when I knew he was full. Yeah, when I was no longer gobsmacked. <laughs> oh my days. I was so much I was so full. That was more food than I've ever seen in ages. Oh my days. But um Yeah, it was it was nutty. I I, I yeah, I did not eat at all besides that meal yesterday. Like I the entire that, that carried me through the entire seven hours. I was stuck on a plane, uh -huh. got home, <laughs> just like chilled and then went to bed, dude. I did not eat anything else. I was so full. That's yeah. a I really learned the meaning of stick to your ribs, dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, but uh, thank you, uh, Miguel, in the chat for reminding me. Uh, as you guys are watching on YouTube, might notice there's a fundraiser going on. We have the bottom. <sighs> We announced this on stream last week, but we, being us, forgot to mention it on YouTube for anyone of who course. might want to help out. But uh, my my Steam colleague Joshua here will be soon going to Japan, and uh, as a very faithful content creator, rather than just enjoy his Japan trip like a normal <laughs> fucking person, he wants to do interviews so that we can make videos and to share with you guys uh, the the contacts we've built and things like that over the years, right? um in the context we're trying to build mm -hmm. so um what is it uh we we have kind of calculated what the cost would be uh for you know just on the low end of mm -hmm. of renting out the studio the equipment paying for any potential yeah. appearance fees transportation uh concessions for the guests things like that um, and so we have derived you know about 650 that's on the I, i'm gonna be honest that's on the that's like a low ball end of things right mm -hmm. but the reality is josh was you know already going to do this regardless if uh it just if you know um how much we can help out depends on will affect how much he has to pay out of pocket really <laughs> yeah. um so if we can reach the 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 650 goal which our our, our twitch chat has been so awesome about we're like literally just a hundred dollars shy now right mm -hmm. after two weeks um what is it? Uh, anything extra that is donated that is specified for this fundraiser will go into just getting maybe some nicer equipment, maybe a nicer studio, uh, better concessions, right? Yeah. Instead of just a uh, bottled water, you know, maybe we can get them some. That the plan Evian was bottled now. bottled water and like some crackers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was the plan. That was that was, that the, was the six fifty but the budget. The budget. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, now we can we might be able to get them some caramuchos, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone gets half of one. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, everyone gets one umaibo, dude. You know? yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, yeah, we're we're going to extend this to you guys. Uh, as of right now, I believe uh, there, the the link will be over on our Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash slope club, and you hit the donate uh, link. Otherwise, I will put a link in the description for this video. Um, yeah, it should yeah, be if... streamelements.com slash slope club slash tip. If you don't want to okay, you know, uh, uh, Josh, stall. I'm gonna make another text thing. Oh, make another text thing. Yeah. Yeah, and again, like you mentioned, anything that goes extra will go into either the space upgrade or better lights, be a better microphone. So, or maybe everyone can have a microphone if there's multiple guests, or it could go into um, like better concessions for the guests that are actually there. That way, they're like. Because, you know, when you go somewhere and they give you, like, better food, you're, like, you remember them kindly, you know? Yeah, everyone likes food. Uh, or it could even go into other guests that might come in the future or potential guests that we can reach out to now that we have some fund to get them. Jimmy, that's not the right size. <laughs> I know. Hold on. You just keep <laughs> stalling, dude. Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, so, yeah, thanks to chat. We've already gotten a, a good amount of donations for this little fundraiser and once we reach the 650 we will raise it to the thousand mark and then if people are generous enough and it goes beyond that which i don't know what happened um then we could we could probably go into more specifics about what we can do with the money how does that sound Jimmy? yes I'm keep just... talking josh <laughs> so, yeah, so if anyone has any questions you can go ahead and reach out to us on the discord or on Twitch if you're watching live, or on the YouTube comments. You know, if you want to leave a comment there, feel free to do so. And then uh, you can add a little message to the donation if you want, and that'll show up whenever we read it. And then during the stream, if you guys are watching live, we'll read it out. <laughs> so no, chat's giving some interesting suggestions. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and then uh, through donations is better instead of uh, gifting subs because when you gift the sub, we only get 30% of that. And uh, Amazon gets 70%. So probably not that. <laughs> instead, you can go ahead and go through the link once again in order to donate. Then we get 99% of that instead of 30. So that's mm -hmm, all. Mm -hmm. And again, it's completely optional. Like, don't feel like you have to do it. It's going to happen regardless. Anything that gets added. It's gonna help me and the channel out. Yeah, yeah. Um, I I think we've always kind of hesitated to to ask for money, right? Like uh, as much yeah, as possible. I don't think we straight up have done this. Like, to this yeah, regard, this is our this first level. time. Um, everything up until this point has always been paid for out of out of pocket, right? Out of just uh, us and our. Uh, this is why we yeah, still always say we're wanting in the to red. make content, right? I just want to make content and share it, but like, uh -huh. you know, as as we, the channel grows and projects get bigger, it's a uh, a little harder for us to to fund this all out of our own pockets. You know, um, I shouldn't be say like, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's just harder, right? It's not impossible, but it just gets harder and harder. Yeah, and especially um, with life becomes less feasible. Yeah, 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 and so like, um. You know, if if we were smarter people, maybe we'd have monetized the channel better to, to to meet that demand. <laughs> but it is what it is. Uh, so uh, yeah, this is uh, any 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 kind of donation people want to do. Uh, it's much greatly appreciated. Uh, like I said, we're already so close to hitting that that initial goal. So anything extra that you know has been designated for that will go towards uh, just just making a, a better experience for the guests, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. um okay uh what is this podcast this is about idols dude believe oh, it idols. or not um, k-pop idols oh you know oh, sorry like one of so it reminds me of one of uh tron's friends uh in in texas was like oh how, how do you guys all know tron and just, oh. every time i get that question I'm like mm. <laughs> and then uh i think rj was like oh yeah dude uh we, we 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 were like we were like into the same idols and stuff and he was like oh what 
Tron's into idols. I love idols too. And like, oh, word. But I was like, you didn't specify. I'm pretty sure he, he, yeah, yeah. he, he was thinking K-pop idols. But uh-huh. no, uh, I mean, Tron's not into this. But we are primarily a podcast on the Sakamichi series idol groups. Oh. Uh, so let's let's start talking about that. We got we got we got some news, a little bit of news from each of the groups. There's probably more stuff. I'm gonna be honest with when viewing, but just you know, our, our I we just got back from Texas late last night. I mm-hmm. got hit. I had to work today because I didn't have it Same. off, and uh, I got hit with some very sad boy news, which we'll get into <sighs> later. So, um, you know, if we if we miss some stuff, uh, please be understanding. Drop a comment, mm-hmm. and then you know, I'll I'll try to add it into the doc for next week but i i just i don't have the mental capacity to do it this time <laughs> so uh let's get let's get to the news we got some hinata zaka 46 news oh no my thing isn't working hold on oh no hold it's all on. broken it the was working broken. earlier but then i accidentally <laughs> closed it when i was doing the tip thing earlier oh um so that's that's on me let me let me adjust that dude uh there we go okay so uh we got the covers for the new Hinata Zaka fourth anniversary memorial concert Yonkai Me no Hina Tansai oh. in Yokohama Stadium. Uh so uh you can see the different versions here, the limited production uh Blu-ray, uh then then the DVD as well as the regular Blu-ray and regular D- DVD um i like the the subtleness of it just little splashes of shapes yeah 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 it's um it's simple and out of the way in a way that's not like sakura (laughs) zaka yeah (laughs) (laughs) i'm sorry it's just the 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 comparison was inevitable yeah you know what i mean just they're both putting out blu-rays around now they're both putting out the cover so we can see Mm -hmm. um these are nice. I like these. Uh, yeah. With like a little ticket for the name. Yeah, exactly. It looks like a little ticket. Um, they 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 did a good job of selecting photos that have a lot of headroom. Yeah. So that yeah. they can put the the little logo there without getting in the way of anything, you know, like uh like the for example the day two Blu-ray they have that little heart formation. Imagine if that shit was just like covering half the members, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I I like these. There's I, I don't feel like there's much to say about them. Um, the fo- the fo- the photos for these are always nice. It's just about yeah. it's more about what can they do to not ruin these photos with the <laughs> <It's true. laughs> the, the the typesetting and the the logos and stuff, right? Mm-hmm. It's more of a design aspect at this point. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think the 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 first one's a little fucked up because you're covering up the the fireworks, which is obviously oh, the highlight of that picture. Or uh, yeah, is in that case they should have just made the the members a little bigger, right? Increase the crowd mm-hmm. size a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm memeing though. I don't really care that much. These these are all nice. Uh... <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Sorry, it's good off tangent. But during the... <laughs> huh? On, on Saturday, <laughs> there was a videographer. <laughs> oh my god! Talk. Chat <laughs> or YouTube. Do you know? You know how much I had to yell at Josh during this the, during the 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 engagement ceremony because he was trying to. He was trying to be like, what is it? He was trying to critique the video guy, dude, the videographer for our friend's engagement party. <laughs> he was like, oh, no, dude, look at it. What, what is he even zooming in on? Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> there, was, there, was one, there, was one time, there was one time all the all the groomsmen and then the bridesmaid were all lined up up the stairs. And, uh, you know, uh, the the bride and groom to be are in the front. And the guy, you know, we're, we're, he already he already gave us our directions. Just smile, you know. Everyone just smile, and he go, he, he just kind of says, you know, gently to to the bride and groom, like, "All right, okay." And uh, uh, you kiss her, and then you just you just kind of smile, right? That was a direction just for the Josh from the back. We can't hear you. We can't hear you. I was like, that wasn't for us, Josh. He was ready to just shoot this da- this guy down every time. He was like, "What's the point of giving us instructions? We can't hear him." Huh? The one in the back Amateur. is like, I can't hear Amateur. what we're supposed to do. So I'm like, okay, let me speak up Am- <laughs> He already told us what to do, Josh. We're supposed to stand there and smile, dude. <laughs> and then we were outside. <laughs> he was ch- ch- changing his camera settings. I'm like, probably forgot the shutter speed. <laughs> <laughs> he 
he literally goes like, yo, you think, uh, do you think Tron's fiance would be mad at me if I told her that this video- videographer doesn't know what he's doing? I'm like, yes. No, no, yeah, I didn't say that. I didn't, pissed, that. I didn't say that. I said, you think she'd be mad if I go and then try to help him back? <laughs> the answer is still yes. Yes, I think she would. <laughs> Sit down and hold your hold your fruit or whatever the fuck you were supposed to hold, dude. That's... Mm. Anyways, I digress. Uh, let's get back to uh, what we're talking about here. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, I really like uh, the the day one Blu-ray. It's it's very dramatic, right? Especially like a that hard shadow on uh, was that Kosaka in the front, dude? You know. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. And then like yeah, the lights just coming in from the back, but like still coming in from the front a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the kick light, hair light, and everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, overall very good. Uh, the the day two Blu-ray is also very nice, just because of the heart. You know, there's the or the triple heart rather. I think that's just one of those like good photos, good moments. You know, any yeah, any yeah. of them stand out to you, Josh? Um, I think the first one, the Blu-ray one of all of them. I think that's the one that sticks out to me the most, just because it's like. It's like a, a full image, and then like when you go in, you see like all these details of like all the different colors on there. You see all the pen mm. lights in the foreground, but then the members right there with the screens in the background. It, there's nice like yeah. dimension to it. The stage lighting creating the color, like the joy photo rainbow, dude, joyful mm-hmm. cutter, whatever the fuck, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's my favorite. Joyful love. I don't know why I couldn't remember that song, but. <laughs> Has nothing to do with rainbow in the name, but whatever. I, I, you I thought it. I was missing a reference. I was like, I'm, I, I'm not gonna say <laughs> yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll yeah. sound dumb. <laughs> uh, but yeah, very, very nice. Um, very. Uh, yeah, can't wait to to watch this legally once my cover, my my copy of this Blu-ray comes in the mail. Yeah, we we always watch it legally. What do you mean, Jimmy? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the Hinata Zaka news this week. Uh, didn't really find much on their website when I was checking. Uh, if there's, like I said, if there's anything that I missed, make sure you uh drop drop it in the comment. We'll we'll make sure to to cover it again, or go back and cover it next week. But yeah. uh, let let's keep moving. So uh, yeah, we got some Sakura Zaka forty six news. Uh graduation announcement um sorry pawn oh wait it's not pawn it's not pawn dude pawn pawn fans i i i i honestly thought that they they would be next dude i really thought it was going to be this <laughs> I, I thought next. so too and uh not this but it's uh of of all the members it's a uh, Habu Habu uh, Habu Mizuho has uh, announced her graduation from the group, so she will be graduating on uh, November twenty fifth during the third year anniversary live. Um, so you know, make sure you guys uh, watch that once that's. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't even fucking think, dude. I'm I'm I'm. <sighs> all right, you know, let, let, let me just keep let me uh go through all of the uh the links that I have for this first and then I'll I'll, I'll get to my thoughts. I think that's yeah, probably yeah. the best way to sure. do this. Uh we have a translation of her blog thanks to the homie too much idea. Oh, thank you. Um it says it's titled My Ninth Year. I spent 8 years in Kayaki Zaka 46 and Sakura Zaka 46. I have now learned to believe in myself, to accept myself. Through chance encounters, I met many scenarios, uh, sceneries, and emotions. I also saw new dreams from all the different jobs that I did. From the reliable second generation members and the third generation members who are filled with nothing but possibilities, the future of Sakura Zaka 46 will continue to be drawn. Because of those junior members, before I realized it, the group has become a place where I feel at ease. I want to break open new ground from here on as an artist, such such is the part I chose for my ninth year. I think that I have to tell it to you honestly. I'll be graduating from Sakura Zaka 46 with the end of third year anniversary live at Zozo Marine Stadium on the, on the 25th of November. Truly thank you as always to all the fans who continue to support me. No matter what, I will continue to cherish those of you who support someone like me. 
I like to take a peek of the way things are with the way I am, keeping an eye from a slight distance. Um, I don't know, man. I like. I have I have very mixed feelings about this because mm. I think yeah, when I hear her ninth year, you know, eight years being active as an idol, that's a very long career. Yeah, you know what I mean. And yeah, she when she touched when she talks when she herself and maybe I'm saying this because this is someone I've followed very closely. Obviously, is my Oshi man. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, like I have now learned to believe in myself and to accept myself. I feel like I see that in so many kind of uh like something like that in so many graduation blogs, but I feel like that's so so apparent for Habu. Oh yeah. Right? Oh yeah. Yeah. People who've been following the group for a long time. Like a lot of people on Twitter have been posting it, you know, like the the clip of Soko Saku, right? And this is this is, you know, several years into it, like uh um past Futari Saison, right? So like they're I kind of already established. Yeah. She she had like a a moment where she's like, "Yeah, dude, I I don't have the confidence to talk to the other members when I when I'm in the uh, the green room. I just play video games or listen to music by myself, mm-hmm. you know. And so they that's that's how the whole mozzarella cheese thing started, right? They're like, all right, let's yeah, let's yeah. play mozzarella cheese game, so that Habu can kind of like let loose with the 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 other members, mm-hmm, you know? mm-hmm. and and it's so crazy watching that clip again." thinking about how she is now because the habu mm. now is like you know like i joke but she's the rizzler dude you know the she has rizzler, habu no yeah. ona, dude she she, <laughs> uh-huh. she she rizzes me up every time we do migri dude you know like mm-hmm. to me the habu now is so it's someone who i think when i think of habu i think of someone who's so witty and confident and yeah. fun you know even on so tv like, you see that like so much now yeah yeah so that part is the sweet of the bittersweet, I suppose. Uh, as well as like you know what she was talking about, like just you know she has yeah. There's very there's very competent second gen members and third mm-hmm. gen members now with so many possibilities and potential. It's it's a great time to graduate, but like I think the thing about Habu graduation that makes me really kind of that's got me fucked up is like because I don't think. We've seen all of Habu's potential in Sakura Zaka. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, obviously, she she's had time, but I feel like Habu was such like a slow build to to get to where she is now that there's still yeah. so much more. Um, I really, really wanted to see. Um, I, I don't know. I don't think I was ever expecting like a Habu center or anything like that. But like, you know, I was yeah, I was just expecting to see her like kind of take on new roles with like the the other members and like the senpai and things like that you mm-hmm, know mm-hmm. so like yeah i don't know i i just i i think of so much potential with habu that uh we we're we're not going to see you know and 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 as as a part of the group she says mm-hmm. that she wants to kind of break new ground um as an artist whatever that means uh whether that means as a performing artist or as just someone in the entertainment industry we'll have to wait and see but like yeah i don't know like um yeah i'm just i'm I, i'm 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 like fucked up i i i was good in memeing during like the 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 pre-show and i'm like trying to like but it's just like once you start talking about it you know yeah. it's like it's kind of like i i don't know dude i thought i was numb to this shit i really did until this this grad hit me because i think if I'm like speaking just for me personally, like, like Habu herself, and and I mean I know it's not just her; it's like the other idols that I follow too. But sp- but a lot of it is Habu. Like, mm-hmm. following her has gotten me through a lot of like just really shitty stuff personally. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, just like shitty life things, and then like, you know getting excited when she first got her instagram announced right oh yeah i remember that you know um you know seeing her get more and more prominent feature like parts in like the music videos and things Mm -hmm, like that mm -hmm. and then like um what is it uh going going to migri with habu and uh what is it yeah i don't know just just yeah like 
having fun, getting to like, you know, enjoy being fished, right? Like, even though it's like, I know it's just all games and stuff like that, but it's just part of the act. It's part of the fun of yeah, it, yeah, right? yeah. you know, mm-hmm. it's just like, yeah, I don't know. It's it's sad to see that like that 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 phase of her career is is ending, right? Because that's like even if I continue to, um, you know, if she continue to do this stuff and I continue to support her, it's not like it's never gonna be like the same. You know what I mean? It's never. I'm, I'm not gonna be able to sign up for her online meet and greets anymore, mm-hmm. and 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 ask. And I'm not gonna be able to ask her if I can, you know, be join Habu no Ona. You know. <laughs> like, uh-huh. No, yeah, definitely. Uh, I think hers is a is a special journey where, like you said, we got to see her in the beginnings, being this shy girl who just plays video games by herself, and then like grow into like what she is now, and like that journey itself is like so her, so uniquely her. Yeah, that, yeah. That like o- only she would be able to do it like that, and I think that reflects on her personality, the way she presents herself now her fashion choices, her art choices, so many different things that we see coming from her. And I think that's what makes me a little excited about seeing what she does in the future and on her own and just be able to see how she expresses that. Because we see that in, we see that thrown in here and there, but like now we get to see the full mind of Habu Mizuho, you know? Mm. Yeah, I'm, count, count on Mr. Box to give it a good light, dude, you know? But yeah, I mean, I think that's, that's true. <laughs> Um, I do hope that she gets a lot of work that uh, we'll be able to showcase and feature that that you're right because yeah mm-hmm. I mean it's it's not gonna happen in a, a group surrounded by so many members where you have to for better or worse right like uh, fit the theme of the like you know like they put out a new single right I have to fit the theme of the single right whereas mm-hmm. Habu doing work as Habu Mizuho gets to do stuff that is yeah um, yeah there's like positives and negatives to it you know being in that group setting mm-hmm. and I think after a certain time they have to realize like okay if I want to keep on growing at the rate mm-hmm. that I want maybe sometimes yeah. it is time to like spread my wings you know yeah yeah, yeah. I I, you know, I, I think she's one of the ones that I'm still going to continue. Not still, but like, I think I know she's one of those idols. That I think I'm going to very actively keep up with even after graduation. You know, some mm-hmm. sometimes there's those that graduate and I'm like, OK, um, I, I'll, I'll still follow you on IG and things like that. But I don't really I'm not really invested in whatever you're choosing to do with your career. Like not mm-hmm. not for any bad reason. It's just like, uh, you know. I don't have so much time in the day, right? Also helps when they have like a clear career path instead of just posting IG pictures. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> um, but I, I, I'm, I'm just hoping that Habu really gets the send off that she deserves, right? Like, I hope November 25th at Marine Zozo Stadium is like an actual graduation concert with a send off mm. for Habu. Um, and let's get that grad PV, please. Dude, thank you for saying it for me, because I I don't want to sound like, you know, I've been begging for a Habu photo book for so long, and it's like one of those, like, is this like the monkey paw curling up, dude? Like, <laughs> you want Habu photo book? You'll get it. Graduation memorial oh, photo no. book, you know? <laughs> like, I didn't want it like this, but I mean, I'll, we, we better take it. I'll, you know, it's a consolation prize. You know, I'd rather have it a graduation PB than none at all. Yeah, true, you know? true. Um. And it better be fashion forward if it's not. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I'm I'm hoping for a uh, an actual solo PB. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally agree. I, I I think, especially if she like uses it as like a vessel to push the direction she wants to go to. Mm-hmm. I feel like there's there's a lot that can be done with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, only time will tell. Uh, we have we have what just about three months left with Habu, so I mean, start over released a month ago, so four mm-hmm. months. That's a little bit fast, but I think it's possible to get a, a new single. Yeah, if they do three singles a time. year, then it's possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think, because uh, I think that's what some people are worried about is like, oh, are we just gonna get like a, a digital, like you know, like release, mm. kind of like what uh. Was it was was Sugai got that right? The her solo song was just like a yeah, hers was separate. Yeah, because she graduated yeah. before the single came out. Mm-hmm. I mean, that yeah, could be so... nice though, just having it as like its own thing. No, 
<laughs> I mean, it, it can be. It's, it's better than nothing. But I, I want, I want. I, this is just me being selfish as a Hobo Oshi. I want Hobo to get like a full part of the discography. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let it be a B side. Something, yeah, something with like Volcano Dilemma budget or something. Mm, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, time, time will tell. Um, I. I I was just really fucking bummed out all day, to be honest. Mm. I, I was I was trying to work, and uh, it, it it was pretty much like just grayscale blanket holding the hot cocoa. You know, camera zooms in and just goo goo dolls, and I don't want to see me. You know, it was it was it was rough, dude. But good thing you didn't I, go to I'm the trying office. to I'm trying to think. Oh, what's wrong, I'm trying, it's hard to explain. <laughs> you wouldn't get it. You wouldn't get it. I, I'm, 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 I'm honestly like going through a big roller coaster of emotions, but for the most part, I'm trying to be uh, happy about this in the sense mm-hmm. of like, you know, I, I want, I want her to be positive, right? I, I don't want, I don't want Habu's graduation to be mired by this like feeling of of what could have been. I want it to be. Um, more full of the potential, right? Yeah, Be looking yeah. forward to things that may come. Um, we saw it grow like, so much already. There's yeah, only that's, up, yeah, exactly. You know, like you can only like this is the best case scenario that someone joins an idol group and 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 grows from it in the way that Habu has, right? Mm-hmm, I I mm-hmm. will say it. I don't give a fuck if people say it's biased. I it it is, but I don't get, I don't care. I'd say Habu has had the best glow up in in any idol career ever. Not just physically, like overall, dude. Her state, her mental state of being glow up was insane, mm. right? Like her, her obviously her visuals glow up was crazy. You know, like she was already pretty when she joined, but like Habu now is crazy. But then like just the confidence, the way she carries herself, the way she, uh, you know, um, kind of like supports the other members. Like this is not the same girl. Who first joined Keikizaka, and that's that's yeah. that's wonderful for her, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I I I hope that she can truly love the person she's become through this group the way that uh, I know the fans have. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, you know, um, I all 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 like all of our meet and greets, and it's kind of nice that I guess uh, I'm privileged to say that you know I have had meet and greets with with my Oshiman. We're always very fun and bright and cheerful, and I feel like obviously that was the kind of person the idol Habu Mizuho was, mm-hmm. and so that's the way I want to send her off, right? Yeah, yeah. And I don't want the world to see me, cause I don't think that they'd understand. Anyways, um, uh, I will go and make a a fucking Habu collage for the thumbnail this week <laughs> oh there we go just open oh. up the folder yeah 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 um anyways uh let's let, let's let's keep moving uh habu thank you so much for all your work we'll continue to support you afterwards as well as these next three months we we'll look forward to but... whatever's in the oven mm-hmm. uh anyways as you guys uh know it's kind of it's kind of light on news aside from this from sakura zaka right now because they have continued their international uh, kind of push. I wouldn't say tour. It's not really like a designated tour, but it, you know they they have been uh, promoting internationally with performances in Paris and now Malaysia. And so uh, while we were in Texas, uh, Sakura Zaka was also turning up, but in a the other part of the world, mm-hmm. um, probably similar climates though. <laughs> True. Anyways, <laughs> so uh, yeah, uh, one of uh, what is it? Uh, a, a user from uh, one of the discords that I'm in has posted a bunch of pictures over on his Twitter. Um, you know, this is you guys meme on, on us, but this is why you should be more grateful to have a bunch of otaku camera otakus in the fandom, dude. <laughs> True. Cause, cause look at these shots, dude. Look at some of these shots from Malaysia, dude. It's a uh, what lens was this? Was, look at this. Uh, I do know that he was using a Sony A7 III, dude. So. Oh, the A7 yeah. III. Yeah, that, that superior Sony autofocus, dude. dude the autofocus is so good on these. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you know, it's like, through, and you know, that's with motion and everything like that. Yeah. You know? A little, a little soft on hot on 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 rune rune, but like, dude, you look over at Poland, like, oh, nailed it, dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, not yeah, a, a lot of a lot of great photos from there. Um, so you make sure you uh you go over and uh check out those photos for yourself. But we also have a book report. Ooh. Um, well, let me let me go grab the photos from that and then uh mr box if you want to read through the the photos i'll read through the the i'll read through the photos <laughs> yeah, read through the uh book report um I'll, I'll swap through the photos and stuff all right so this was sent through discord by hz or hertz i don't know which one it is um so first they wrote a little about me, how they got into the group. I came to discover Kiaki Zaka 46 around 2016, 2017-ish from Silent Majority's music video. And I thought that song was pretty cool and Merika looked pretty in the music video. But then I didn't really follow closely on any Sakamichi groups until mid-2020. At the time of peak pandemic when I discovered Slope Podcast that Ooh. talked about idol news. So I have been a fan of the Soul Podcast since then. The main group that I follow currently is Nogi Zaka 46. So I don't really know much about Sakura's Zaka 46. I was a little lost during the live performance. But still went. And I think uh, that, that's what we recommend. It's like, if it's, if it's happening near you, definitely go. Because you won't get another chance like this. So here's the brief report. Arrived at the performance venue around 2.45 p.m. local time. There were still not many Sakura Zaka fans around this time at the venue, so decided to linger around and watch performance from other artists until it was Sakura Zaka 46's turn. Ame Furashi was there. They were there were fans with Oshiman towels, pen lights, and wearing W Kiaki Fest T-shirts. Look at that! Turn up. That's a that's a dead event, brother. <laughs> The, don't you have a hat of the Yuki Fest? I do. I'm just, that's why I don't wear it anymore because it makes me sad, dude. Oh, no. <laughs> the crowd turned out was all right. Uh, not that many, but still managed to fill up the small venue space. Okay, okay. Uh, also saw some fans from Indonesia and Japan. Look at that. And here are some pictures that were taken during the event. Check it out. Um... Thank you. Dang, dude. They, uh, Ten Chan looks rosy here, dude. <laughs> that, uh, that Malaysian heat be getting to her, I guess, mm -hmm. dude. But, yeah. Uh, and that's the report. Thank you for your report. Mm -hmm. We appreciate it. Oh. It's always nice getting out of these little book club reports. Mm -hmm. uh, just, just being able to, like, see how it was from, like, the eye of someone who was there. Instead of just like mm -hmm. looking at pictures and making assumptions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh I was very living vicariously through the, the pictures. Oh wait, there's more. I missed. <laughs> oh. I was like, dude, uh, okay. Okay. Copy, um, copy and paste the rest, dude. I'll 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 read it out, dude. No, it's fine, I got it. I'll, I'll just leave it okay. reading. Um the group started their performance at around <laughs> I can't believe I forgot. <laughs> Dude, the group... I'll, I'll 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 get I'll get into this later. Go okay. The group yeah. the group started the performance at around five twenty five p.m. with Overture. The set list was Overture, Nagaredama, Masatsukesu, and whatever, Nazekoi, Sakurazuki, Buddies, Ban, and Start Over. Couldn't recognize most of the songs apart from Ban and Start Over. Uh, the performances of Nazekoi and Sakurazaki were really good, and members like Rena. Hono, Ten, Karin, and Yuipon were really expressive. In this humid weather, they still dance with... <laughs> I always mess up saying this name. Masatsukesu. Uh, Masatsukesu, yeah. Suits. And could see that they were sweating a lot after each song. They should really perform at indoor venues. <laughs> they were planning to come to Malaysia again. Uh, Rena and Hono really, had a, really have sweet smiles and very pretty. Ten was really cute when she tried speaking in Malay, 
and was very keen at that time. For the choreo, I thought it was impressive that with smaller physiques that they were still able to dance and move around a lot. A matter of fact is I felt more tired after watching their performance for the Mesa, for the Mas... <laughs> How do I mess it up? Masatsukesu. Masatsukesu costume. It looked a little messy with the lanyard suits and some songs were better with their respective costumes, but they probably didn't have time to change. The performance ended with a short interview and handing a flower bouquet from the organizer. Finally, oh. I am considering to be a fan of Ten after the performance. Let's go. Oh, Ten Chan, pop off, dude. I love Ten Chan. Dude. I think she's great. Um, I think she's a very wonderful performer. So, you know, I, I noticed that with Sakura Zaka, anytime someone says that they're mildly interested in one member, I have to go on to a tangent about how I think that member is great. And I think it's a great choice. You know, like it could be anybody <laughs> be like, oh, I really like Fu Chen. I'm like, oh, yo, yo, Fu Chen's great, dude. You know? uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, I really like Chu Kimon. Oh, Chu Kimon's good, dude. Chu Kimon's mm-hmm. good, dude. You know, but I think that's, you know, part of the appeal of a good group, dude. You know, like literally you cannot go wrong. You know, you cannot go wrong. Um, no, they're for all sure. very wonderful. And especially whoever sticks out to you, you know, everyone has their reasons. And like, yeah, you can't doubt yourself. You have to be like, all right, this is the person I'm picking. Mm hmm. And you know, you don't don't feel tied down to a first impression either. You know, that's coming from Jimmy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, we. Uh, it's funny. Josh only sent me the first part of that. I don't know why. And I and I said it. Me. I was like, "Dang, dude, how is his personal history going to be more in depth than the concert report?" But all right, do you? I guess. <laughs> Hurts, hurts, hurts. I'm so sorry I doubted you. You can blame Josh for that. That was, that was not my fault. <laughs> I like copied and pasted it, but I forgot the, the second half of it. <laughs> I was like, all right, a little narcissistic, okay? <laughs> kind of kind of make it about yourself. No, but not with with everything, the, the background adds yeah, yeah. context. It's 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 helpful. Yeah, yeah. And you you provided a very wonderful book report. I'm, yes, thank I, you I'm so just much. laughing at how uh, Josh trolled me, dude. <laughs> um yeah, yeah, it's cool to hear all of that. Uh, uh, live vicariously through through your guys' experiences a little bit. Oh, yeah. You know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. we couldn't be there, so you're you're the reporter on the streets for us. Mm-hmm. Man on the streets. Oops. Uh, I guess spoilers. Uh, yeah, we're that's pretty much it for the uh, Sakura Zaka forty six news. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and move right on along to Nogi Zaka, which is probably gonna take up most of today. Um, it just it is what it is, dude. They're really popping off right now, dude. You know, we're we're in the middle of the promotion cycle. So. Yeah. Uh, first bit though is uh we got the uh title and uh covers for Sa- Endo Sakura's first photo book, dude. Yeah. Um, and so uh, it's it means Karen, right? Or the title is Karen, which uh means not Karen, as some uh <laughs> some Western fans have been memeing. Oh, she can't believe they'd call her karen <laughs> it's uh karen which means you know lovely right um huh. and then uh yeah we got we got the four different covers dude as usual we have the regular edition cover with the little uh sakura petal candy on her on her tongue mm-hmm. um you got the seven net one with the flowers she's got a cute little goober face there <laughs> Um, the Rakuten one, she's like, you know, laying down reading a book, mm-hmm. and uh, the Kino Kuniya one, where she's kind of, you know, got her just woke up, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I, I like these for the most part. Um, I wish Very we kind of got a little I bit like more, the hush of... there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like that was uh almost like the 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 what the 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 photographer was like look at how sharp these turned out i want to put these (laughs) on the cover Uh but uh i kind of wish we got a little bit more variety in terms of the covers right they're all kind of around the same crop right like that that medium like that bust kind of yeah like medium tight right Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. around there um so maybe you know i would have liked maybe a, a a wider full body like a wide one of the spa one would have been nice especially with that background yeah 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 yeah. um i, I feel like something like this 
I would like to see it with uh more flowers then if you're gonna do if you're gonna crop it like this, you know what I mean? Ah, uh, like fill up the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh these are nice. I you know, I, I don't know. I think I thought the, the, the candy on the tongue looked kind of silly to me at first, but it's grown on me. It's cute. I'm a fan of the lighting on that one. Like, mm -hmm. like the nice like, yeah. big, wide, like soft lighting. Just feel, mm -hmm. like, just shaping her face and like wrapping around her. I think it's really nice. Yeah. Uh if if you had to pick a favorite, which one would you go with, Josh? Hmm. I'm kind of leaning towards Rakuten, but just because there's an object and there's like interaction and it looks like there's like an emotion there. Yeah, yeah. I think Rakuten is also my favorite, dude. Um, but I do like the regular cover too. Yeah. Just because of the lighting. And it's a little more playful, more joyful. Mm. I like the ones with more I emotion. Think, I think my favorite part about the Rakuten one is you have different depths. Mm, that's right. True. Like, uh, like that, Obviously, the, thin the, plane of focus. the book is in the front. <laughs> uh -huh. Then it's her face, right? Mm -hmm. it makes a plane, and that's where the plane of focus is. And then the rest of her body, kind of in the back, and then the the background behind that. Whereas, like everything, all the other ones is kind of just like here's how uh, here's Endo in the foreground, background. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And they they um, nail that focus, like dude. The yeah, the most is a focus to like oh uh, like, like right there. That's like the first sheesh. part. Like a razor's edge, dude. Uh huh. Yeah. And 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 you could tell it, this wasn't like altered and post or anything because you can see the bottom of the book is a little bit sharp, so you can tell mm. that that's like the actual plane. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, that shit is that that bulk is creamy, dude. Right. Um, Must be full frame. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's gotta minimum. be, dude. Yeah. Gotta be minimum. Yeah, maybe maybe medium, dude. Is this is what is this a Hasselblad, dude? What are you shoot this with? <laughs> what is this like a Fuji, like medium format? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think I, I think the thing that stands out to me the most with this is uh, how intact her skin tone is, or her her skin texture is. In all oh yeah, yeah, photos. Yeah, uh, there's there's been some like bad ones in yeah. There's been some bad ones in in Nogizaka photo book land. Uh, lately, there's a, a recent like... one that just released that. <laughs> oh, did you finally see it? Did you finally see it? I haven't seen the pictures yet. Oh, okay. I need, I need, did you see we it? need to talk about this one. I've seen it. We need to talk about it when you see okay, it. We'll so. talk about it in the post show. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like, you know, you can see like some of the texture under her eyes here. Obviously, she has, you know, like not huge pores or anything. I'm just, you know, it's an no, idol. There's texture. Like, you know, there's skin, texture. There's te that's... Exactly. There's texture, dude. That's why um, that's why it looks so sharp because you actually see their skin. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you know, her 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 moles are there, dude. You know, it's like yeah. there there's nothing that made like the biggest travesty was like you know, Key Chan photo book just smoothing out all of her freckles, you know. It's like uh, the fuck, dude. I want to see Key Chan, dude. Those are the uh, features that make Key Chan Key Chan, dude. True. You know, so so it's nice to see this uh, coming out of Endo's uh, photo book. Uh, this is yeah, this sure. this photo book has been very um, like uh, a pleasant surprise. For yeah. Me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm actually um, like looking forward to like picking this up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Same, but yeah. So uh, release date for that is going to be October third. Uh, you can pick it up from. Uh, Amazon.co.jp, as well as all the, the usual suspects like Kino Kuniya, Rakuten, yeah. and uh, Seven Net. All those exclusive covers. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, let's 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 keep moving. Uh, we 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 watched the new PV uh, or the the new A side last week, but mm -hmm. uh, since since we've been gone, there has been new music videos. Uh, let's start with the three main coupling music videos we have the uh the undergirls funde shimatta uh fifth gen excuse me kangai nai yonisuru as well as the excuse me uh endo and kaki duet mug up to sink um did you watch all of these yet mr box i know you did don't lie <laughs> I watched them with Jimmy. 
mm-hmm. in the Airbnb <laughs> on the TV. <laughs> but uh, you know, it's it's the podcast. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna start with uh, Funde Shimata. We'll watch watch these, and we'll come back for uh, the discussion. <laughs> All right. So we just got back from watching Funde Shimata. Oh, such a good music video. Am I right? It was everything I wanted for the song. You know, such a good song. Like when we first listened to it, we're like, oh, this song is so good. We can't wait for the music video to be released so it can match the energy, match the vibes. You know, it's gonna be like an anime opening. You know, it's gonna be, it's gonna just be great. Right, Jimmy? They should have just done the anime opening, dude. They should have just had fucking Matsuo Miyu dressed up as fucking Deku, dude, coming out. Arnold's fucking Bakugo, dude. <laughs> oh, not John, dude. <sighs> you know? That would have that that been, been better than that what we better. got, dude. Oh, my God. Look, it, it, it's it's a B-side, so I, I always get that there's going to be constraints and we can't compare it to uh, the fucking A-side. But holy fuck, dude. Do they, 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 they only have like 20 cents left to shoot this video, dude? What, <laughs> what is this? This compositing, dude, is so unnecessary and bad at the same time. You know what I mean? Like, if the bad. shots contributed to something to to the music video, mm-hmm. I'd be like, yeah, that's cool. All the budget you went know? into making that circle effect. And then they're like, God. we can't green screen it out properly. Just apply the effect and hit auto. But at yeah, this point, auto does a better job. Premiere, ultra key, auto. That, that's maybe... Adjust the, the 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 fucking hue slider a little bit if you have to. Uh, but yeah, this I stupid feel like AI circle, does it better now. Yeah, I don't want I don't call it stupid. It's probably the best part of this PV, but it doesn't do anything for it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and by by best part, I mean the most well executed part, right? Though there Maybe. is some kind of some weird perspective stuff with the mirror stuff that kind of like, uh, yeah. but like uh. You know, it's it's cool. It's it's just like I wish that there was some purpose for it, right? But then it ends up taking like the entire middle section of the PV, and and there's no real uh, allusion to like mirror worlds or circles or anything like that anywhere else in the the music video. Yeah, um, it's like a little like out of nowhere. They're just like, I have this cool idea for an effect. Let's make that the whole music video. Like, like okay, well I shouldn't. This is a like a national idol group. I shouldn't be able to see the the green screen light reflecting onto onto their hair. Yeah. Right? Just Good use they... a blue screen. <laughs> true, true. It's it's a sky behind them. Just use a blue screen, dude. And then, that, I think yeah, that just goes yeah. to show they weren't planning when they filmed mm-hmm. it. They were like, "We'll put them somewhere." Yeah. Um. It's it's and it just I don't know it does. It doesn't look good, and it it doesn't serve anything, right? Like, like what are what are these shots supposed to accomplish, dude? Mm-hmm. You know, where like, is the direction? Like, it, if you're trying to show off the cool architecture, having the members just badly composited sitting there just takes away from it. Because now I'm like, you're just looking at like, something's really off here. Like, something's really off here, you know, is all you can think about. At least me, right? I don't know. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe other people disagree. But well, um, if we were to like list off the things that are wrong with these shots, mm-hmm. <laughs> we can start then, off with uh, uh, the green screen. I'm going to get into it, Jimmy. <laughs> get, no, get into it, dude. We, we can start off with the green screen color. Uh, the color is bleeding onto their hair. Uh, which can be easily removed. Uh, it's way easier if you you know fix it when you're actually filming it. Uh, we also got uh, the perspective that's wrong on them because they were shot differently. And maybe they were like corner pinned to look a little different, but the perspective is off. So sometimes they look bigger than the street light they're sitting on. And then also uh, the lighting is totally off. So, like, it looks like they're in a completely different studio versus outside. And they also have the contrast wrong. So the background is super contrasty while they're not as contrasty, which throws everything off. And then the saturation is off. (laughs) So the saturation doesn't match 
what's going on in the background. Those are just some things I listed. Mm -hmm. I think, okay, like, those those are all like little technical things that could be done to make this shot look better. But my thing is just why have it to begin yeah. with? The, whole, the, the, the point the of right it, right? What answer, is the I'm sorry, Mr. Bucks. The correct answer and the much shorter one is just to fucking cut it, dude. <laughs> you know? But they had nothing else. Yeah. <laughs> they don't just need lone shots of the building. Yeah. Boy, boy and I were talking about it. the big the most egregious thing with this video isn't even the compositing. Like I hate the compositing. It's just the direction. Like why why is like it's such What's an right? elegant like dance and outfit and stuff yeah. like that for like such a aggressive, cool song. Like it doesn't match. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I'm watching it back in mute and it doesn't look half bad because the song isn't playing. You know what I mean? But like the song yeah. is good. So the yeah. problem is the PV. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I bet if you put right a different TV, song that's like slower, it would match this way mm -hmm. better. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's 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 kind of a shame, dude. You know what I mean? It's uh like I I really like Matsuo Miu. I was I was hoping yeah. I heard that you know she was getting uh the the undergirl center. We listened to the song during the um what is it there when the the single came out at the end of the show last week and i was like oh the song's a banger dude mm -hmm, so i was mm -hmm. really looking forward to this you know yeah. I, I like i think it came out the day before i flew out to texas but i waited i was like oh dude we're gonna be in texas with the guys i can't i, I, I want to watch all the music videos from nogizaka together with the guys and then we watched this and i was like yo what the fuck dude <laughs> <laughs> um like they, they didn't have to give the music video budget the same budget they have for marketing <laughs> Mew. <laughs> Disparage, dude. Um, shall we shall we give it the rating, Mr. Box? Yeah, can we start with a song? <laughs> yeah, let's start with a song. Uh okay. on go. Three, two, one, go. Nine. Nine. Easy. Easy. Handshake, handshake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, the song the song was hype, dude. We were listening to it the first time. We were hype. We were in Vegas. I don't know, Vegas, we were in Texas. With the boys playing in the car, it was hype, dude. Yeah. The song, you know, like this, this is going into my gym playlist easily. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. I totally agree. It's like it, it's up there for me. Add it to my playlist. My rotation includes mm -hmm. this song, and it's just like a fun one that you can always listen to. And like, it does have like the anime opening vibes, but I still feel like it's like pretty strong on its own. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's part. I think it's very uh, intentionally trying to fit that that vibe. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Not, not, not obviously not anime anime yeah, opening. Yeah. that's a very mm -hmm. american thing or western <laughs> thing you know like we associate with japanese music like oh this sounds like an anime opening but like uh, it's it's following that same thematic structure yeah. that you see in a lot of a uh, driving nature to it yeah japanese uh like j-rock music right mm -hmm. uh all right let's get to the pv on go three two one go two, two. I, I kind of want to give it a one, but just because the members look great, I'm going to give it to you. Well, I, they okay. look great I, in the dancey yeah. shots. <laughs> yeah, I, I was I could be convinced to a three because the location is nice. Okay. And fair. the uh, the members look nice. Yeah. That's about the only good things that this, this video has. Honestly, if they gave me the green screen footage instead, I would have been happier. <laughs> like, it, it it just really uh aside from that mirror shot which i'm i'm pretty sure you could probably find on after effects if you like uh, like an after effects uh what is it um not plug in what sort i'm looking for like a preset preset yeah yeah it, i'm pretty sure you could find one if you really looked hard enough <laughs> um maybe have to pay like 15 dollars for it, you know uh -huh. aside from that i feel like that's the rest all the budget they had to me <laughs> Yeah, uh, this the rest of this looks like something that like my my high school like film class would have fucking made as a project. Yeah, they just have like a rich yeah. uncle who got them to that location, but like everything else skill based is like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, or not even a rich uncle that got them to the location. You just fucking gorilla shot shoot in the location, dude. <laughs> you know, you just kind of run in, shoot. Uh -huh. Hopefully, no no security tells you kicks you out, or when they kick you out, then you just gotta. That's that's when the mirror shot comes in, dude. You know, it's like okay, we couldn't fucking get the <laughs> the rest of the footage we need. We'll just go in the gymnasium and film the rest, dude. <laughs> I have this green it, screen. It, <laughs> I have to yeah. iron it out, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. 
It's like yeah, I've dude, seen yeah. I've seen fan covers of Nogizaka songs that have better music videos than this. Oh yeah, yeah. Like yeah. like easily. Like, it's like I was gonna say I, I've seen like Chica Idols have better ones, but that 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 would just insult Chica Idols, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is I don't know I like something something happened with the director here. You know what I mean? I oh, feel no. I feel like the director fucking. He heard he heard like oh I'm getting a Nogi Zaka music video all right cool and then they're like hey did did you listen to the song and he's like ah it's fine all this shit sounds the same anyways dude <laughs> and then and then he heard he got he got to the fucking location it was like oh shit it sounds like this well it's too late all right whatever it's too late you know we're I mean? on schedule yeah we only have one day to shoot this um but uh it's uh. It is what it is. Um, yeah, the song's I, but, good. Yeah, yeah, the song is good. Just listen to the song. Yeah. Don't even watch it yeah. if you haven't watched the music video yet, and you're listening to us for some reason. Just don't watch it. Yeah. Uh, the song's a banger, though. <laughs> that's that's literally the only positive thing to come out of this. I. I if you close your eyes, this is great. <laughs> the song's good. Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, chat, chat saying the music video is enjoyable. I do not find it enjoyable at all, uh, visually. Um, yeah. So uh, it's 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 all preference. It's all opinions. But obviously, we're the ones with the podcast. So uh, the opinion that's going to your go own out podcast on, nerds. Oh no! Just the opinion that's going to come out from the podcast is obviously going to be tinged. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, or not tinged, but tinted through our perspective, right? But. I'm I'm by no means saying that we are the right one. So if you guys have obviously different opinions from us, then uh, feel free to drop it in the comments. Um, mm-hmm. There's no right or wrong here, but I it, to me, I just I cannot enjoy this music video. Um, as much as I wanted to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, but that's okay. That's okay because we have two more music videos, Mr. Ooh. Marks. So uh, let's we're gonna jump in and start watching the Kange and I Yoni Suru music video and then we'll uh be back to discuss that all right so that was kangai nai yoni suru the fifth gen pv and the song what did you think mr box what did you think um i don't know what to think yet <laughs> it's like mm. how do i explain it it's like i can appreciate the thought that goes behind it but I'm I'm not connecting with it. Like I, I don't know where the disconnect is happening. But like Yeah. I, I can I can understand why they did certain things, but it doesn't click. Dude, we we have done too many podcasts together because now we're agreeing too much, dude. <laughs> oh no, where's boy? He needs to bring balance to the force. <laughs> I need to go back to the days of like vehemently disagreeing with your takes, dude. Be like <laughs> It's You're an idiot, dude. <laughs> once we listen to Chica Idols, it goes out the window. <laughs> mm. Oh, true, 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 true. Because, like, okay, uh, we we're talking about, like, you know, like, there, there's, like, just very heavy usage of filters in the the the, the PV, right? Um, like, you know, and they're, and they're, they're it was so neat make sure so that the audio doesn't play but they're 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 going they're 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 intentionally creating a look right they want Our to look pickles have synced finally <laughs> yeah oh no but like <laughs> you know then later on they they choose not to use uh the filters right and they have like a much more clean image so that means that the filters were definitely a a, a stylistic choice for those scenes yeah. right mm-hmm. um boy and boy and i were saying when we we're watching this in texas that it was you know like yeah it's, it's still very have like a clear delineation a clear separation between like what moments were our, our past slash memory slash you know whatever what have you versus what's happening in the present and things like that um I just I don't think I like it though visually, right? I think it's still too much for me, right? Yeah, like, too I, much I can I can me. definitely understand why they did it. And yeah, like, sure. Like I, I imagine like it makes sense when you're working on it, but I don't know if the message got. <sighs> I, yeah, I, it, yeah, it was, I don't. <sighs> it's intentional. Like Chad just says, it's intentional it doesn't mean it's good. It's like, I but I can't see why someone would would enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe maybe uh, it's too much. 
Between yeah, the two. That's, that's that's my thing because I think they from the performance outfits and then like the little individual outfits, everyone looks really good. Everyone looks mm-hmm. cute. Um, I really like uh, what is it? Um, the song. All right, I think it's it's a very the song grew on me quite a bit. Um, mm. Yeah, it's a very Nogi Zaka sound, you know, and for so, sure. Um, like uh, you can start humming a different song and it can match it. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I don't know the 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 filters are just a little bit too much for me, and I don't think the story was clear enough for me that it like particularly um, resonated. You know what I mean? Mm, like I'm not, yeah, like, I'm not leaving this video thinking about uh the story. I'm th- I'm leaving it thinking about like, oh, I, I think the choreography was really nice. The outfits were nice. Things like that, you know. Uh, but but not what they intended for it for you to remember. Mm-hmm. It's like the things they intended for you to remember is all the different moments, all the different meanings behind it, and like all the different mm-hmm. memories that connect together. But then at the end, it's like nothing really latched on. At least for me, of like, for me to, like, even after this music video, I can think of some shots but i can't think of like every single thing that happened and how it connects mm-hmm. maybe it's just too five head for me i don't know yeah dude it's like a, like a french art house movie dude and you're just like i mean i guess that makes stupid, sense like dude. the french the french like translation that they did yeah dude i feel like i'm watching the green knight all over again dude you know <laughs> and, I'm, 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 and i'm usually someone who like digs that kind of style of like like not like the organized chaos is what i like to call it mm-hmm. usually i'm a fan of that but in this case i think it it needed more organization. Yeah, just, uh, chaos, just to make it a little bit more, I guess, coherent, right? Um, yeah. I I think for me, I was a little bit dis not disappointed, but like, um, what is it? The uh, this podcast t- title is going to be the most disappointed podcast. <laughs> We're all sad today, you know. <laughs> uh, but I was going to say the. Uh, the song grew on me because it's a very Nogi Zaka sound. I yeah, yeah. Nogi Zaka, right? Mm-hmm. I think for me, I was disappointed only because it was a fifth gen PV, and the fifth gen PVs or the fifth gen songs have all been more on the like the upbeat kind of you know more you know energetic songs, right? So and then you think you now know, would obviously be energetic, but... being now Mao Dad, seeing that it was a now now center, I was like, oh fuck, hell yeah, dude! It should be it's a, it's just gonna be so fucking cute, dude. I'm ready. Uh-huh. And then I get a ballad. So I was like, oh you know so i i like i kind of came into this already like expecting something and wanting something and not getting it so it kind of curbed my um initial enjoyment but as as i've been able to kind of like li- distance myself from that and like listen to it on as it's just its own thing i think i like the song quite a bit um mm-hmm. the pv it's not bad in the sense of like the way i find funde shimata bad right i, I think it's just um yeah, I don't know. I, I wish it was a little bit more coherent for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just want something to latch onto. Mm-hmm. I feel like maybe that could be done through editing. Yeah, it could be done through editing. Yeah, probably. All right, should we get to a rating? Yeah, all right. Uh, PV first. Okay. On go. Three, two, one, go. Four. Six. Oh, you get a six. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Explain. You can ex- you go first. Explain. I, I was thinking, I, I was thinking three, but I was like, no, it isn't that low. Like honestly, it, it's like around a four for me. It's like five being the average. You know, Nogi Zaka music video. I feel like those are more digestible, versus this one, which should have leaned more into the more organized nature or more chaos nature and i might have enjoyed it a little more uh the filters were a bit too strong for me it looked like they were eating radioactive sludge out of the kakigori bowl uh yeah i i think i was just a little more nitpicky with it to the point where i couldn't drop it down to a three it was just a lot of nitpicky stuff that just piles up this is this is why you get called Mr. Haterbox, by the way, if you're ever wondering. <laughs> I... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, I can see where you're coming from. But I think a lot of that is like I, I factored it the other way because a lot of that to me is so just personal preference. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, uh, I think visually 
is shot well the uh the what is it um the members look good everything looks good except some artistic choices and then yeah i do agree with chat like uh just because it's intentional doesn't mean it's good but you know good is also subjective right yeah, like yeah 100%. what i find visually appealing might not be appealing to other people right i m really like the very contrasty uh saturated look right i remember we disagreed a lot over what was it uh the the ski to hoshiga odoru midnight music video i believe that was right from hinata zaka where like it was that yeah it was that one right where it was like the uh the windows xp background desktop oh, background yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I also do i like that i don't know that's so uh -huh. that's me right so uh in in the opposite there's a lot of that i didn't like here but i feel like that's just personal preference so i didn't want to bring it down too low just because of like these are things that don't appeal to me but that being said because it doesn't appeal to me i still can't give it like a high score either yeah yeah you know, yeah, so. yeah exactly um I mean, there's, there's, there, 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 there are very good pieces here. You know, like I really like uh, the shot of them at that in front of that sculpture door thing. You know, <laughs> it's like the Full Metal Alchemist door. Yeah, dude. It's like, oh, dude, what, what is the meaning of life, dude? You know, <laughs> um, what is the worth of a soul, dude? Oh, there we go. Um, they're but, all just yeah. ghosts, right? That's when she looked back to the house; they're all gone. Are, and, are, and this is where they? their souls are kept. Oh shit, dude. They they all they all made a deal to to you know bring back their dead mom and now they're all gone. <laughs> Every single uh, one. <laughs> um let's let's write the song. Okay. On go. Three, two, one, go. Seven. Seven. Oh. <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> It's it's a good song, man. It's a very yeah, yeah. Nogi Zaka song. If you like Nogi Zaka, which I think you would if you're watching this podcast, chances are you will like this song. Um the mixing yeah. is nice, the production is there. Um, instrumentals? Instrument oh the strings, dude, the little stabs, dude, dude, yeah. Dude, dude, dude. yeah, yeah. It's like it's, yeah, uh, yeah. I think like Jimmy said, if, if it's Nogi's it's Nogi Zaka when they do a good song in their style. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I don't right. think like like five is the average, but when you have a good Nogizaka song, you know it's not an average Nogizaka song. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, we have one more PV. Yeah, one more. <sighs> uh, it's gonna be the uh, duet from oh. Kaki and Endo, Mug Cup to Sink. So we'll be right back after we watch that, dude. All right. So that was uh, the uh, duet Mug Cup to Sink with uh, Endo and Kaki. Yeah. What did you think, Mr. Box? It, what did you think? Very enjoyable. I enjoyed yes. that. My eyes I think are the pleased. best PV that we watched tonight, dude. A hundred percent. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, it's, it's able to do the different color concept way better than the previous song yeah uh, yeah yeah nothing is too ever too heavy-handed color wise right yeah there's a couple of you know saturation boosts but it, it was still it was still good I'm, I'm sure jimmy enjoyed those saturation boosts you know i did you know i did dude like, and oh, uh, look at how blue the blues are oh uh -huh. <laughs> that bottle isn't even that green it's yellow <laughs> <laughs> No, but um, uh, with the song and everything, it it all fit in nicely. They they listened to the song before <laughs> before they filmed this. <laughs> uh, yeah, for me, it's a. Uh, so we like I like I mentioned, we watched all of these music videos from Texas. So this yeah. it's kind of nice. I got to kind of this isn't my initial review, but I, I've I've got to kind of already watched it, know what happened, and then now watch it again with chat got to kind of like watch it with a more expectant eyes kind of yeah. or with already some background understanding um and yeah i think that the story is definitely more cohesive now than it was the first time i watched it i think they did a pretty good job this is like a more narrative pv right with a uh, some really good dance thoughts mixed in in between um i but my, i think our initial critique of it uh still stands where i wish 
so the 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 basic gist is that you know um you know kaki is an artist endo makes music and they meet at the bar endo works at and they collaborate right they uh kaki makes the art for her uh her cds and obviously endo is the one making the music um but then endo for the reason has to skip town right and then uh she's sad on the run i see this yeah you can kind of see this in their 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 engagement and stuff like that you know um the final walk uh, right? she's very she's very yeah yeah she has a very like uh re- re- mournful regretful gaze at, at kaki when she leaves right but mm-hmm, mm-hmm. um they never really give a clear reason why endo has to leave so that that part's a little bit perplexing right yeah. um she just all of a sudden is like i'm out you know or not all of a sudden but you know what i mean she's just i'm out right mm-hmm. um i, I feel there's like no, something yeah there's no anything, lead up to it yeah yeah anything would have helped um to really sell it right like uh, i was memeing like you know at the beginning of the music video she could be like getting her mail out it's like oh eviction notice something right like <laughs> tax collectors like, yeah just so we know that she was already leaving because then there there's a kind of a hint of a sadness during her interaction with kaki mm. um um so i think another thing we mentioned uh was uh if there was like a calendar in the background of the bar or something like to like a circle date or something mm, that was leading not the bar, but at her apartment at her apartment because why would she oh, yeah, be telling yeah, the whole bar yeah. when she's leaving? Yeah, well, that's yeah, what, yeah. the bar's getting ready to kick her out. <laughs> this is your, your last day. <laughs> and then Kaki would know too, dude. Uh-huh. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, just something, just something to know that like there's like some reason why she's gonna be leaving earlier on, just to mm-hmm. add that context, right? Um, because uh, aside from that, it feels very abrupt, especially once when you're watching it for the first time. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I don't know. That's like really my only complaint. I think everything else about this PV was really good. I love the dancing shots. Oh yeah, um, yeah. The black the, and white was block... just like a nice touch to it with the contrast level it has. Yes, nice. the black black and white was the move, dude. With the yeah, like you said with the contrast, but also with like the patterns on their outfits, mm-hmm. um, it really helps it to show more because you're not so distracted by, um, kind of everything else that there is there would be to watch. You know what I mean, um. And then the choreography is just very nice, dude. Chat's mentioning uh, that they met one night at a bar, which which we talked about too. <laughs> like I, I think I mentioned like they only met once, and, and she's stressing over her. But then like I forget it was Boy or Jimmy brought up that that every time they're wearing different outfits, which means they've been meeting multiple times, and this relationship yeah. has been building. Yeah, exactly. It's it's been a uh, you can see it through. Um, like kind of like the middle section that there's different outfits and different times at the bar. Mm. So, um, so it's like, yeah, a, I don't, it's almost like a time lapse of them, of their interactions. Yeah. Cause yeah, when they, the first time they're at the bar, Kaki's in that yellow outfit. Right. And then there's another mm-hmm. time later on where she's, you know, after they've hung out, she's at, she's there another time. So I, I don't think that's the, the case. Yeah. But, um, because I thought the same thing. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, yeah, so if anything that shows that, there could be things to do, make it a little bit more clear. But that's a very m- minute um, critique, right? I think yeah. aside from that, it's a very nice music video. Um, do you want to give it its rating? Yeah, let's give it the rating. All right. Uh, let's start with the PV on go. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Eight. Eight. Okay, I was, I was thinking about nine, but... I was thinking about nine. No! No! Jimmy, please. No. Wait, boy isn't here. Eight and a half. <laughs> no, 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 no. I will not, I will not spit on his legacy like that, Mr. Box. That is great. How, how could you? You just, you flew back with him from Texas just yesterday, and you're already trying to forget his legacy, dude. It is eight or nines, dude. All right, um, I'll give it. I'll give it an eight. Okay, I could be convinced up to a nine, but I'm giving it <laughs> no, an eight. He um, just showed up. <laughs> uh, I, I, I think if, uh, yeah, if they just made the story a little bit more uh, clear, yeah, just right? a little, just a little bit. Not it, it's, yeah. it's pretty close there already, the way it is. And then, uh, just for me personally, I felt like this had a little bit too much of that grainy look. Right, I, I think I would have preferred it just to look a little bit cleaner. Um, 
that's like just personal game. preference once yeah, again I like so the game that's why yeah hey, see sometimes we disagree dude i i think it just i thought it was a bit much i would have liked to move cleaner dude you know why why we got our iso up for no reason dude uh-huh. yeah, but, but then it feels, I, I do like the the saturation thing where like when they're together it's more saturated mm. i feel like they could have amplified it just a, a little bit more yes but, yes but but it's just like little details like that really it's like yeah yeah yeah. But that's why I, I'm, I'm still thinking about giving you a nine you know <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. um i think i think that in compare and that plus the uh the like yeah because it's it's two solid distinct complaints but like the adjustments that they would have needed to make was so minor right just like not minor but just such a touch just a light touch Mm -hmm. but um i don't know whatever eight or nine something like that you guys this is all this is all for fun anyways our rating has no fucking impact on the world dude um oh no (laughs) What uh? What about the? I'm song? thinking about the life. Yeah. <laughs> or a nine. <laughs> they need to go. Uh, what do you what do you think about the song, Mister Box? Oh, On go. Three, two, one, go. Nine. nine. <laughs> Jimmy, we gotta stop agreeing today. <laughs> uh, damn it. You know, what? I'll give it a ten. There, I'll give it a ten. There. Oh, it's a 10 for a 10. you. I'll give it a 10. No, I can't lie to myself. Okay. It's a 9. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if, 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 if it had like a maybe like more percussions or something like that. If it had a yell in there. Some, some fucking bongos or something like that, dude. During the some of like the, the spicy, like the chorus mm. and like the spicy like uh, guitar parts and, you know, the piano mm. solos. I would have mm-hmm. I would have easily given it a 10. But, you know, it. it it's, it doesn't quite have that touch. It doesn't have that production and budget. So it, it just a, needs a little a garnish. It just needs a yeah, little garnish. Yeah. Like, yeah. Give me the whoa, yeah, whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa. It's like, you know, it's like you, you, it has Michelin, Michelin star flavor, but it doesn't <laughs> have the presentation. You know what uh, I mean? Yeah. Um, I like it though. I like it. Uh, this is, this is definitely, um, a surprise hit for me coming out of yeah, uh, yeah. this this single. I, I you know I was like, oh cool, we got a cocky endo uh, mm-hmm. duet. I'm looking forward to that. Mug cup to sink the fuck. Low expectations from the start. Yeah, and then you hear it, and you're like, oh shit, dude, this is good. This is good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, definitely, definitely a good one. Um, anything you wanted to add? All right, so uh, that's been the three new PVs coming out uh, from Nogizaka. My mouth is a little bit tired. Hey, Nogizaka, this was cool and all, but please don't do this anymore. Please <laughs> spread out these uh, PV releases just a little yes. bit. Um, yeah, you know we have to, or at least release it like before the podcast or while the podcast happens. You know, that way we could just watch know. it live on stream with everyone. You know, more enjoyable experience. You know, fans get involved. No, I, I just don't think I can talk about music videos for, for three music videos back to back, dude. It's just <laughs> you, you start running out of things to say about music videos at that point. At least I yeah. do, you know, but mm-hmm. hey, guess what? We have more music videos to talk about, Mr. Box. Uh, we got some individual PVs <sighs> uh, this time. Of course, it's also fifth gen. Um, so we got we got the, the previews for all of them out by now. Um a lot of different ones. They all look very cute. Uh, the best one is any. obviously Ioki 1000%. Uh, let me not hear anybody say otherwise. Um, what is it? Uh, we, we got it. We got, we got a cute Arnold one as well, dude. Look at, uh, look at her. You know, we get, we got, we got an Arnold track, you know, so you know, it's going to be good. You know, it's going to be oh. good. Yeah. Which is, what's the recommended one, Jimmy? Like if, if you pick three, if I had to pick three, it would be uh, Ioki one thousand percent, the Arnold one, and then uh, the 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 Sakura one, dude. Okay, okay. Yeah. Sakura no Sakuto cooking. It's another. It's another kind of cute Saku 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 song, dude. Oh. Um, Chat Chat is calling me out for being a bad dad, which fair. That's fair. Yeah, I noticed I uh, one name missing. Um, dude, I like now. Now, 
I'm not the biggest fan of her individual PV, dude. It's a little uh, esoteric for me, dude. Okay, um, I have to watch it. Border, bordering on on spooky. Ah, see, that 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 was the chat. The spookiness got him. Yeah. Um. Okay, I'll make sure to check these out later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the duck one was was kind of goofy, uh, very very silly, uh, kind of what you would expect from, from the duck lord, you know, um, get you 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 just have, very similar kind of setup as her last one, dude sitting across from, from from duck, she's staring at him with her big old duck eyes, like, oh. that's but. what people want. They just want the duck eyes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I, I'm looking forward to all of these once we get the full version to come out with the uh, the single. Um, but yeah, until then, you guys can check them out over at the Nogizaka official YouTube channel. Oh, but that's so gonna to be it this week. Hmm? I'm what so used to stuff being on the Haishinshu channel. Oh, that's well, that's where all the good stuff's at, dude. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, that's going to be it for all the Nogizaka news this week, which means that's going to be it for the news. Uh, so you know what that means? We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with the highlighted comments of the week and the TV show highlights. And we're back. And you know what time it is? It's time for the highlighted comments of the week. We'll go back and we read back some of the comments you guys have left on the YouTube video from the previous episode. First one is uh, from going to be from Gilbert Blythe. One zero one one. Oh no, Jimmy! The Habu announcement must be hitting you hard. November twenty fifth will be a sad day. Um, it did hit me hard, but I don't want November twenty fifth to be a sad day. I want it to be a very happy day. I want it to be uh, a beautiful send off where mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. I can I can you know very proudly say that she had a very great career, and uh, you know just just wish her on wish her the best on to the next thing. Another comment from Handong is too cute. Nine seven zero nine, kind of in the same vein. Habu meet and greet. FOMO must be at its peak now. A time to say goodbye via prison visit. <laughs> <laughs> um, good one. <laughs> I know. It, it, I did consider it, but nah. I, I like I said, if I was gonna go to Japan, I'd be going to go hang out with uh my my boy Mister Box, dude. But too too much stuff going on right now. Mm -hmm. Um. Let's see, I think there was a uh, another one I wanted to read. Um, oh, here it is. This one's from Blue Sky Days four one three. Ohitori Tengoku, uh, oh, to, Ohitori Sama Tengoku. It certainly is upbeat and energetic, but I didn't like it as much as both of you did. For me, it isn't neither ba a bad song nor is it a good song. It's average, but will do well in live performance. MV was average too. For me, in recent years, I think I'm going against the trend when I say I really like the song. Actually, I think the song really stood out and I still play it a lot nowadays. Even the problematic second MV of the song is better for me than Ohitori Sama Tengoku. And uh, this is where I always say, you know, people are allowed to have different opinions from us. dude. They're allowed to uh, differ, even though uh, they're objectively wrong. <laughs> um Look, I don't. I don't think you're very against the trend. I think a lot of us like actually. Um, actually, yeah. is a banger. I think most people would agree, um, un unless they're still very tied to wanting to dislike a very specific member. Uh, that actually is probably one of the better Nogizaka songs recently. Um, now is, I I I'm okay with them. I think it's a better song than Ohitori to Sama Tengoku. But that being said, the PV. This this is where I think you're being a yeah. little you're going a little too far. Ain't no way the the second MV for for actually is better than uh the Ohitori Samba Tengoku PV dude. That was that you're a a very slop together last minute bet like not I it's not a bad PV, but it was the best they could do under the circumstances compared to an actually well thought out, well produced, well put together PV. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Strong disagree there, but no, uh, teasing aside, you're very entitled to your opinions. What did you think about that? Um, we're just the echo chamber of the slow podcast, a memory of what it used to be. I agree. <laughs> uh, but I wanted to bring up another comment uh, that talks oh, about yeah, yeah. Ohitori, Ohitori 
さま、天国。Uh, I think Ohitora, oh, Ohitori, man, my Japanese is just so、Ohitori. bad today. Ohitori sama Tengoku is not a bad song. And it's, oh, this is by Mimi, by the way.、Uh, and it sets apart、mm. by having an unusually strong rhythm for a Nogi song. But I also think that there's way too much going on. And it kind of sounds like four or five different song ideas jammed together. What I like most is actually the message, not the music itself. In a culture that builds, Every attraction as a date spot, every holiday as a time to spend with your lover, and every song is about romance. A song that celebrates just being yourself without anyone else is a breath of fresh air. Especially considering idols have to remain single for their career, and modern life and societal pressures can make people isolated or decide to put off romance.、That's、Sounds like copium to. No, I'm <laughs> It's a, it's a, I'm totally teasing. I'm totally teasing. I'm sorry. It's an interesting take. I think、uh, we saw that the actual composers, there's more than one composer for this song, right? For Ohitori Ohito Sama、yeah. Tengoku. So it makes sense that I, it sounds like different songs. I actually disagree. I feel like it just sounds like an Avicii song. It's a, you know, it's, it's very much a EDC 2018. <laughs> you <know> . EDC. <laughs> EDC, put your hands up. But in a good way. I, 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 I like it. But、um, mm-hmm. I do think it's interesting that the point of、uh, doing things by yourself. Yes, like, I agree with that take.、Mm-hmm. Doing things like always with someone else is an interesting take of like the messaging behind the song, which I can appreciate. I thank you for bringing this to the, to the front and bringing attention to it. I think it's something that definitely needs to be considered.、Um, the last part, I wouldn't use the word have to remain single. I, Even after their idols, they still give off the illusion that they're single. So, wait,、uh, for the last part, that was a、uh, oh, you're saying, um, especially considering idols have to remain single for their yeah, career. So, you disagree because,、uh, you, they don't actually they're not actually single. Is that what you're saying? And <laughs> I'm saying that no, I'm, I'm, no I, I'm saying that they don't have to, but they do it because it. It's like they don't have to be single, like they can get, get in a relationship. It's just that it affects their career when they come out. Yeah, and... I think that, I mean, but I think you're being a little bit pedantic about the word have to.、Oh, okay, you know? it's like okay. Yeah, you don't、I、have to, but if you do, you're gonna lose all your fans and your career might go down the drain. You know, it's like, well, yeah, they kind of do have to then, right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, I forgot what my point was. When I first read this, I was like, I was like, yeah, that makes sense. And then I had a point to bring up, but then I forgot what it was. Thank you for your comment. <laughs> Dude, I, I mean, okay, why would you marinate on that? Like, I, I mean, I, I, com- I completely like, forgot what I was going to say. Yeah, yeah, if you want to try to think about it, like,、uh, for me, I, I, do, I do like this take in, in terms of like, it's nice to have a song that I, you know, like, as much as I joke and meme about like, Uh, they're making fun of all their single fans. It's, it's nice to have things, just even encouraging people to do things by themselves. I think that's something that、uh, modern society has kind of fucked us over, that we constantly need to be stimulated, right?、Um, if I'm, I'm, I never just do an activity by myself, I'm like watching TikTok or I'm, I'm playing video games, you know, I'm never alone in my thoughts. And I think that's very important. Or even just, you know, doing something because I want to do it, not because I, it's a social thing, right?、Um, I have friends who say I'm weird for this, but I think it's perfectly cool. Sometimes I like to just go eat out by myself, right? For my birthday, I have a tradition where I always get、uh, it's my, my Hitori ramen tradition. I always go to ramen by myself on my birthday. And it's just like, you know, for me, it's, t- it's like a tradition that I do for me. It's time I get to think about my past year, my next year, things, things I want to do, things I want to change, things I, I want to look back on. And,、um, I just like ramen. So that's why I chose to do that. But, like, you know, it, it's like, you know, we, we, have, we have so、uh, this, this need to do things with other people, right? Like,、yeah. you know, I have, I have friends that like refuse to do things by themselves, right? Like, hey, like, I go wanna, to, you know, like people can't, like, when I tell people sometimes I go to the movie by myself or I went to go see this movie by myself, like, what? You went by yourself? I'm like, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's like the spot to do stuff by yourself because you're just sitting down watching a movie. Yeah, yeah, or, or like, I don't know, like, and don't get me wrong, it's nice to have people around. I'm not like saying community is a bad thing, but it's like, I think it's about balance, right? Sometimes it's good、yeah. to just celebrate 
being alone and being doing things simply for yourself, not because you want to be with somebody else, right? Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I and that's a part of thing. Oh, oh, he told you some Tengoku I really like, you know. Um, but I, I will, I will make the joke all the time. So I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, any other comments you want to touch on, Mr. Box? No, I'm good. All right. Thank you, everyone who left the comment. Uh, sorry we couldn't read them all, but, uh, you know, leave your comment on, uh, this music video or this music video. This, uh, might as well be. That's all we talked about. Uh, leave your comment on this podcast and maybe we'll read it next week. All right. You know what it is? It's time for the, uh, highlighted, uh, TV show highlights where we go back and we kind of, uh, recap the the previous uh week's episodes and anything else we may have watched so you know that's going to be the regular shows uh hinata zaka daima show sokomagatara sakura zaka and nogi zaka koji 2 uh you watch anything else this week josh yes i watched one other thing it was uh the random nogi zaka dance battle show thing it's like nine minutes long oh okay and uh, this time they were learning uh, heel dances. And uh, oh, one of the, I think it was like some announcers like learning how to dance and everything. And then uh, they're watching and they're showing like examples of heel dances. And Kaki's face the whole time was like, <laughs> like <laughs> he was like surprised the whole time. Like, oh, this is what it is. Because, you know, it's a very like, like, like for lack of better words, like a sexy dance, right? Mm-hmm. And then Kaki the whole time was like, oh, just surprised by it. <laughs> and then uh, they're like, oh, you know, like, what pose do you think uh, is common during it? And Kaki does like a weird, like, yeah, 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 <laughs> this kind of thing. <laughs> like, no, that's gonna be wrong. And then Yumiki's like, going under and like trying to do this pose. Fucking like, ass no. out, dude, pull her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and she's like, no, 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 trust me, this is the right answer. This is the right answer. And she like goes and tries it. She's like, oh, no, wait, wait, this is too much. This is too much with this. But then, like, they show the actual answer, and it was what Yumiki was trying to do. <laughs> so she was actually right. But she just like did it in the goofiest way. Yeah, yeah. She just Yumiki did, dude. You yeah. Know? When you're right, but you're Yumiki, dude. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so it, uh, it's super short, and uh, I recommend watching uh, the second half if you want to watch uh, the funny poses. Yeah, I just I knew that because of the clip you posted, but mm -hmm. uh, maybe I'll go on and watch the full thing. Uh, yeah, I just watched the. Uh, the two videos on the the Sakura Zaka channel and Nogi Zaka or Sakura Zaka channel Hinata Zaka channel was what a uh, mm -hmm. me and boy did while while Josh was out clubbing dude we're chilling back there. <laughs> <laughs> uh so you know Sakura Zaka channel is a uh, Ozono Re and uh what is it Masamoto Kira during uh, I think they they had like a love it filming in Australia so they just kind of vlogged their day out there this shit's cute dude you know mm -hmm. Kira is such a fucking goober dude every day every time <laughs> I watch her I thank god that she's in Sakura Zaka dude she's she really makes me happy dude it's just like mm -hmm. you know it's just like she seems so genuinely ecstatic to to be living her life right and uh. I don't know about her but it's just like that's the vibe she gives off and that's really wholesome to me like uh there's a part where they're in a park and they're like you know talking to some Australian kids and and she you know like Ozono's being I'm gonna be honest, she's being kind of stupid. She's like, Oh, do you have do you know Sakura Zaka 46? And they're like, no. <laughs> I was like, Why would they know that? All right, let's be real, but whatever. <laughs> and then, uh, so she's like showing them their music video, and fucking uh, Kira is just like, Me, 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 that's me, that's <laughs> you know, uh, like my group, follow, please follow, you know, uh -huh. she's just being so unabashed about it, you know what uh -huh. I mean. No, that's great. Like, I don't know. I, I just found it super endearing. Yeah. She's just she's just so I don't know. She's such a kid. But like it's crazy though, because then you remember she's like one of the older members in the group. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, dude. Every day I think I thank God for Masumoto Kira, dude. Um and then aside from that, me and boy watched uh what is it? Kyonk and uh or no, I think it wasn't me and boy. It was uh earlier before we went out to go get barbecue. We watched uh was it Kyoko and Shogenji Yoko and their Harajuku date? Oh yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, they they you know eat some giant ass cotton candy. We're nitpicking how they eat the cotton candy, dude. You know, 
Like Kyuk was definitely Shou Genji just kind of picks at it, war, you yeah. know, like takes like little tiny ass pieces, and then meanwhile, like Kyung is just a, a fucking psychopath, like rips off a big piece. Like okay, okay, then she balls, balls it up, up dude. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, what are you doing? Um, then they get some cute outfits and things like that. It's just it's it's very cute, dude. Um, and uh, I think we we would have watched uh, what is it the uh. Hayashi and Chu channel of uh, what is it going to get good food before the live in Aichi mm-hmm. with uh, what is it, Den Chan, Koromi, and uh, uh, Samia? But at that point, like the video started playing and then the door opened and it was fucking Tron's fiance and her maid of honor. And I was like, oh shit, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we're watching fucking hot ones, dude. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, uh, the football game, oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. So uh, that that was all I watched this week. Let's 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 get to the regular shows, shall we? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, first up, uh, Hinata Zaka at I'm a show, kind of a continuation of uh, last week, right? It's kind of like the the sports fest episode kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So uh, they they kind of carry. It's weird. Like the parts yeah. I thought would be boring were the funnest parts, and the parts I thought would be entertaining were like the most veg for me like it starts yeah. off kind of slow right the continuation like okay here's the relay part or whatever we kind of know what to expect at this point yeah yeah yeah. um and then after that was like the cheering thing that was kind of fun and then they had the uh buzzer beater quiz thing at the end oh, yeah. right mm-hmm. that, that was fun they're getting all excited and shit um any any moments stand out to you josh uh i like the the cho- choreography of uh who was the last team was it Kyung? Oh, uh, no, it was it? A... the no Katoshi. It was Katoshi. Katoshi's team. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, the 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 fucking para para uh-huh. Euro like, beat shit, dude. Like all, all off and like just trying to do it. <laughs> they, they close <laughs> yeah. them off. They're like, now we're coming up right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just... like, oh, we're definitely gonna get number one. <laughs> They knew they weren't getting number one. No, no, they knew. She's standing there like, I don't even know what this shit is, dude. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, I, I was born after this shit came out, dude. You know, um, yeah, that was uh, that was really cute. Um, I, I, I'm so mad that the meow meow shit won, <laughs> dude. It should have been, it, it should have been uh, Kosaka's team, dude. I think they were the best one, but I mean, I get it because they did their own song, so it's like, okay, you didn't really have to make yeah. new choreo and shit like that, but um, I like yeah, the one where they uh, they pretended to do the, the the thing where they show the talents. What is that called? Huh? They were like imitating it with the baton, baton pass and like the... Oh, the Omotenashikai? Like, yeah, the Omotenashikai, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was cute, that was cute. Mm-hmm. I like Dantsu. Mm-hmm. And the quiz yeah. one, I already tell. There's gonna be some people held back, like Kosaka the whole time. I'm staying here for all these questions. Don't know any of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought pink. Uh, yeah, the pink team was gonna have it, dude. They were popping off for a minute, dude. Uh huh. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't think they, they didn't finish it. Right? That's gonna be no, no. Week. They're gonna finish it off. Yeah. They kind of yeah. like stopped in a weird spot where I thought I was gonna like. Yeah. Continue. Yeah. But no, next week. Um, and then they have even more games. Mm-hmm. Uh, next was... Uh, what is it? Uh, Soko Saku. This one's always fun. It's like the, the third gen members. Uh, what is it? The, the family Anket, dude. You know, it's mm-hmm. always That's like... Eh? Eh? Yeah. <laughs> Kitenai, dude. Kitenai. We didn't know, dude. Oh, uh-huh. no. Um, I think the funniest parts was just... Uh, Matono's family does not like her, dude. They like, dude. They they're really trying to just like, bro. Like, oh, you join an idol group, dude. Well, let's send them in your most cringe shit growing up, dude. <laughs> dude, that's like if if I joined a fucking idol group and my family sent like the the fucking short films i used to do dude you know i'm like <laughs> why would you do this dude? out of anything <laughs> yeah 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 yeah. I, you know fucking everyone else getting cute little family clips dude and it's uh-huh. like oh here's this fucking uh 
skit of Matono did of uh you know Tiffany whatever news anchor. yeah mm-hmm. yeah the news anchor thing and then the the weather yeah the shit was so fucking funny um yeah there's a lot of little, little, little uh their catchphrases that they had to do mm-hmm. I was seeing all the different like personalities oh, she's such an angel such an angel <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh i really liked uh not like but what is it you know it was like the, one of the like the, the appeals for Taniguchi was like, oh, she still like super dotes on her oh, younger yeah. brother and shit like that. And then like at the end, it's like, oh, but her brother's in like fucking middle school. Oh, yeah. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? I was like, yeah, she like holds his hand while they're walking. I'm like, bro, he's like taller than her, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> like, but he but he dude, still I'm goes honest, along with it, <laughs> dude. If, I'm be honest, if I saw that on the street, I would think that they're boyfriend and girlfriend, not like a older sister. Especially walking how short she is, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying, dude. I was like, oh, yeah, that shit was cute until you said that, dude. I, maybe I'm toxic, but, like, if I was their parents, I'd be like, son, you got to man the fuck up, all right, dude? I need you to I need you to really step up, all right? <laughs> go mow the grass out back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go mow the lawn. Go take out the trash, dude. Why are you having your sister take care of you like this, dude? <laughs> yeah, but uh, it was cute. It was a very cute episode. I can't wait for more. You know, it's, it's fun getting to know third gen, dude. Uh, one of the... the, the the third gen members had like their parents wrote like the the uh Sony Kanke ne. Oh, Sony, yeah. you know, and then uh they, they had a fucking Habu do that and I had oh, mixed yeah, feelings because cool. like you know I when by the time I watched this I knew about the grad announcement. So oh, like no. part of me was cute and the other part was like if only you saw it on Sunday. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh yeah, anything else you wanted to add? For this one. No, I, I always like these kind of episodes. It's like just seeing a little more into their, like deeper into them, right? Yeah, yeah. Just getting, oops, getting to getting to know them a little bit better. Yeah. Um, because they would have speaking of this, getting, oh, mm-hmm. they would have revealed this, these things about themselves. Yeah. Uh, speaking of getting to know them better, uh, we have uh Nogizaka Koji Chu, um. You have the new center, right? Um, Inoue Nagi, dude. Uh, so it's more about, you know, get get getting to know her, right? So they do like a a full on like quiz, dude. Uh, this was kind of hard. We were watching this uh in the the Airbnb with the boys. Yeah, I I, I did not get this at all. <laughs> I was like, mm-hmm. uh, the whole time. <laughs> I watched that on the on the plane back, and I was like, oh, I have to use my brain. <sighs> <laughs> so like you know it, it, it'd be like oh what what did what, what did Inoue Nagi recently mess up on you know it's like oh she wrote uh you know instead of writing barefoot summer she wrote naked summer you know uh she said mikan during shiri tori dude you know uh, uh I can't remember what the other the other stuff is but like you know it's like stuff that happened on the show yeah so, but like it was other members, right? So I was like, "Fuck, yeah. who who was that? Dude? Who who did that?" Just trying to remember. But, like, uh, first, first, this happened to me for the first time. Or something like that. Mm-hmm. And one of them was Nampa. <laughs> like, oh yeah, 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 buying yeah the yeah, bike yeah. and we're ringing the bell at me. <laughs> <laughs> so what is it? They they start off with a uh, what is it? One million yen, right? And then uh, for every question they get wrong, it goes down to. It goes down half, right? Oh, Five hundred thousand, yeah. uh, two hundred fifty thousand, and then one hundred thousand, then fifty thousand, then ten thousand, one thousand, and then zero. So uh, I think by the end of the episode, they're down to one hundred thousand yen already. So, uh, or no, fifty thousand yen. So we'll we'll have to see what what happens next time, dude. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Anything you wanted to add, Mr. Box? Wait for subtitles for Novi <laughs> That's all. Oh. <laughs> all right. Uh, so that's going to be it for this uh, for this week. So you know what that means. Means this for the podcast this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that uh, subscribe button. Drop a comment down below. Maybe we'll read it in the next episode. But that's going to be it for us this time. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Bye.